welcome to CCSS, where we will be interviewing the people who almost made it to the Final Four, but fell! Yeah! Total awesomeness! Ah, uh, sure. Let's go with that. I can't wait! This will be great! Yeah. I'm hungry! Um, Kranidos, just so you know, they're already right here. I know! Now let's get started. Alright, my first guest is a gecko who has great climbing abilities, is a daredevil, and I hate him so much, meet Jericho! Hey, Kranidos, what's up? I'm angry at you! What? Um, hello? Anything about Alliance and you betraying me? Oh yeah, uh, dude, listen. It wasn't you, it was sort of like... You're not helpful and you're really annoying, so we voted you out. I'm going to murder you! Kinda just stick to the script. Right, <clears throat> what was it like on Toto Pokemon Island, even though you already voted off? Yo, it was tight. I liked it. It was really cool and fun. I liked everyone, you know. <laughs> Did you have any love interest? Yeah, Lily. <gasps> Another reason I hate you! I love her! Say what? Nothing! And, how about this? What were the challenges like? Oh, they were easy piece of lemon squeezy. I could do them in my sleep, even though I did go crazy a little bit. That's not the point. Well, let's see why you were voted off, even though it's kind of obvious. Okay, so, in that elimination, it was 25% because there were four people. There was Hans Crow, Dragonair, Kulava for all losing to in their handcap challenges. You know. And Trico was a surprise elimination. Now you see, for Honchko, the votes were pretty weird. Now, see, here's the thing. So for Honchko, the votes were Trico and Ivysaur. Probably, you know, from the whole Vibrava thing. Dragonair was the Pupitar Alliance, because that was the only way they could vote. And Kulava was Dragonair. I don't know, probably Jealousy or something. But... Yeah. In the end, Trico got Raichu. And Raichu is the ultimate vote. So, yeah. Sorry, Trico. Zigzagoon, it's your turn. Okay, thanks. So, yeah. Trico started out pretty cool. He was, you know, a rivalry with Talo. A lot of things happened. They would usually fight a lot. I was forced to help Talo. I got out because of it. Stupid Ivysaur! And, um... So, yeah. He left in the cliff diving episode. He then came back the next episode after being picked up. From then on out, him and Taylor were best friends and they soon made a whole alliance with Vibrava and Kranidos because of the incoming girls alliance. Soon after Kranidos left, they had to find a new person and they tried to get Ivysaur. Unfortunately, Ivysaur was taken by Charm and her little group. Chirico consistently did absolutely nothing, or he did everything. I don't know, he wasn't very good. But, once the teams, um, dissolved, he was with his alliance. And Ivysaur was with them. He did very well. He did a lot of challenges, and surprisingly, over the course of the game, he's actually proved to be quite a friend, hero, and a Romeo. But, he's also gone crazy. So, yeah, that's it. Whatever! Now, our next guest is a flower monster thing who, like Trico, got unfairly voted out. Well, not unfairly. I wouldn't have voted him for him, though. Even though, wait, no, he did nothing to me. He was very nice. He was the leader of the APOMs and has also been voted out once. Please welcome Ivysaur! Hey, what's up? You die! Nice to see you, too, Ziggy. Um, hey, Kranidos. Hey, Ivysaur, what is it like being in the Traitor's Alliance? What are you talking about? They had nothing to do with my elimination. Actually, they were very kind to me, even though I did go with Charm. Did you have any love interest? Well, I mean, Ivysaur! Oh, hi, Charm. Ivysaur! Oh, hi, Chansey. I, I, I can't really say I do, but a lot of girls like you! Uh, I guess, in a way, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't like all of them. Huh, told you, shut up, Charm. But, yeah, 
any challenges. Oh, they were fine. Leaving once? Kind of annoying. Not that I'm saying it's your fault, Zigzagoon. I just voted you out. Sure! Okay. On to Porygon. Okay. So, it was an equal 20% between the final five. There was only one vote, and... Licky Licky made it. Um... Okay. My turn. So, what happened was... Ivysaur, or should I say Trainer Sore, Bulbasaur, started out, you know, as leader of the A Bombs. Nothing too big. He led a couple of victories until we got two straight losses. When he then voted out me, and then he was voted out for it. Ha! Huh! Unfortunately, he came back the same episode as Trico did, and fought with Baltoy several times for leadership until Cherim took it. Once Cherim broke it into two alliances, Ivysaur was starting with the boys, then to the girls, then back to the boys once teams were dissolved. He did very well and proved to be fair and honest. Although, he did seem to have a new fear of heights, which was very shocking to some people. But, through it all, he seemed to have done very well and probably would have made it farther, to, farther if it wasn't for Licky Licky Stupidity. Okay, that's it. My turn! Okay, first question is from Daredevil K9. Laffy, why is that fat, ugly, and rude? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're mistaking me with one of the other girls, because I'm too beautiful to be ugly, fat, and rude. Um, no, you're definitely not. Good, now goodbye! Wait, I'm not done. I, I still have some. No, 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 no. I don't care. Okay, next question. Shadow Snorlax Man 32. Licky Licky, who is your father? I have a dad? Um, well, let's see. My dad is, um, Shen. He's just so wonderful to see you. Your dad's a ditto? Oh, yeah! Daddy! Son, it's been so long. I mean, I know I've been up with Arceus, but we've been busy, you know, with my business and all. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever! Bye, Daddy! Hello! Next question comes from... Kranidos Force... Oh, God. Claydol, why do you like Cherims all of a sudden? Ha! Huh? Well, after I have evolved into Claydol, I see things with several new eyes. Now that I am not too beautiful, I can focus on her beauty. We are both so equally beautiful. Before I was super hot. But now we are equally beautiful. So I can date her again. Excuse me? Um, okay, bye. But I love her. No one cares! Okay, next question. Comes from... Aqualivion. Wheelie Duff, do you still have your Jigglypuff powers? Oh, I forgot one of those. It's where you get really big and try to kill everyone. Ah! Who say that? Ah! Guess that's a yes. Next question. <laughs> the next question is from Ananados. What the heck? Cranidos, why are you so awesome amazing? Well, Ananados, did you write this? Uh, well, I am awesome amazing. I thought I made it clear last time. If anyone ever writes me something, I'm going to shoot them in the head. But I'm paying you. Yeah, and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Seriously, no more anonymous. Um, I'm anonymous. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you over the loading of my gun. Uh, never mind. Cool, Celio. Okay, question of the week, or of now. What do you think the challenges? are going to be. I bet the next challenge will be eating pie. But who knows? Dun dun dun. Dun. Okay, bye.